Water shot straight up in the air and onto the roof of this fire rescue station in Jupiter after a car crashed into a pipe outside. That was pouring down through the ceiling, coming out of the electrical outlets, out of the walls. Captain Joe Nelson walked me through the waterlogged building hours later Thursday, pointing out all the equipment and medical supplies that were destroyed. This is our home, you know, every one out of three days we live here. And so this is kind of similar to coming home and finding your house flooded, you know, same kind of thing. He says it's hardest to see one room in such bad shape. This is kind of the, the hub, you know, the, the, the table. You know, we sit around the kitchen table and solve all the problems of the world yeah. and everything. A kitchen and dining room doused and left soaking in six inches of water. It's our meeting place. It's our fellowship place. Um, you know, we just... Uh, uh, we have a bad call and we come back and we talk about it, you know, sit around the kitchen table and do that, you know. We just had to do that recently. So, um, yeah, it's like it's like the heart of the home right here. The tight-knit special operations group will be forced to break up until repairs are complete. The public's going to see the same level of service, but, you know, we're used, you know, just the team dynamic kind of gets affected a little bit by having to be split up like this. A reunion could be months away. Nelson says 2,000 gallons of water per minute went uncapped for nearly an hour, while emergency crews rushed to save the driver. That's the priority. You know, take care of people, and then, then we'll take care of the stuff. For Whitney Burbank, WPBF 25 News.